All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, time for Gimme Five. I don't know if you caught the president on 9-11 uh, speaking in Washington, D.C. He didn't seem to want to be there. Deborah Burlingame, the, uh, the sister of Chick Burlingame, who piloted American Airlines Flight uh, 77, which crashed into the Pentagon, was in attendance. And, and she tweeted out and posted on Facebook that he seemed uninterested, detached, like he just got the speech handed to him, very insincere, non-feeling. Well, it's being reported by the Daily Caller that Obama arrived early and insisted that the moment of silence be moved up. The moment of silence was scheduled to be at 9.37 a.m., the time at which the Pentagon was attacked to coincide. But Obama apparently was in a rush. So they moved the time of the moment of silence up. How disgusting, because he couldn't care less, ladies and gentlemen. Couldn't care less. And then there was, you know, the little political message inside the, the, the speech, which should be all about honoring the victims, calling it what it is, remembering what happened, and making sure it never happens again. Here's some of what Obama had to say. Perhaps most of all, we stay true to the spirit of this day by defending not only our country, but also our ideals. Fifteen years into this fight, the threat has evolved. With our stronger defenses, terrorists often attack, uh, attempt attacks on a smaller but still deadly scale. Hateful ideologies urge people in their own country to commit unspeakable violence. We've mourned the loss of innocence from Boston to San Bernardino to Orlando. Mr. President, your ideals are not my ideals. My ideals and that of a majority of Americans, and this election will prove it, is that we need to do whatever we can do to keep us uh, safe as we did after 9-11. And if it means sticking a terrorist head underwater to find out where the next attack at, God forbid, a school might be coming to save children's lives, that's who we are. We save Americans' lives. That's not your ideals. Those are mine, not yours. So we know what he's talking about. No surveillance, no right for the FBI to ask questions of suspicious Muslims, no, you know, no talking of Islamic terror, nothing. Those are his ideals, not mine and not a majority of Americans. And then, of course, he says um, hateful, hateful ideologies. Judaism? Christianity? Be a break hateful ideologies. All right, and then there was this. Groups like Al-Qaeda, like ISIL, know that we will never be able, they will never be able to defeat a nation as great and as strong as America. So instead, they try to terrorize in the hopes that they can stoke enough fear that we turn on each other, and that we change who we are or how we live. And that's why it is so important today that we reaffirm our character as a nation, a people drawn from every corner of the world, every color, every religion, every background, bound by a creed as old as our founding, e pluribus unum. Out of many, we are one. Okay, again, you know, we know what he's saying here. What he's saying there in his code is that Muslims have nothing to do with terrorism. It's exactly what Hillary Clinton actually came out and said. So keep that in mind. It was despicable, and again, uh, as reported by, uh, by the Daily Caller, um, the fact that, um, that Barack Obama uh, insisted that uh, the... Um, the, uh, the, the moment of silence be moved earlier from 9.37 a.m. Uh, because he had to get out of there is, uh, is, is disgusting. Thanks for watching, everybody. America Talks Live continues.